Hey Delhi, are you also feeling the thick smog and haze around you? If you have stepped out recently, you have probably noticed the air feels heavy and visibility at an all-time low. The AQI is skyrocketing, hitting the dangerous 484 and the entire city is under the grip of a pollution emergency. So what does this mean for your health and why is the government stepping in with such severe measures? Come with me as we break down what's happening and how is this affecting your daily life and what you can do to stay safe. Let's start with CRAP. Ever heard about it? It stands for Graded Response Action Plan and it's what the government rules out when the air quality hits dangerous levels. GRAP has four stages, each one more intense than the last. Think of it like a traffic light. Green means all is good. Yellow means proceed with caution and red means stop everything. So where are we now in this air quality emergency? We are in stage four and here's what that means. As I said, GRAP has four stages and as the AQI gets worse, stricter measures are enforced. Stage 1, with AQI 201 to 300, focuses on controlling polluting vehicles, managing dust and increased cleaning. Stage 2, with AQI 301 to 400, brings in enhanced street cleaning, better public transport and targeted pollution reduction. Stage 3, with AQI 401 to 450, bans non-essential construction and intensify cleaning efforts. Stage 4, with AQI greater than 450, the most severe stage. Okay, here's the good news. Stage 4 isn't all about restrictions. Some essential activities are still allowed. Trucks carrying essential goods or running on cleaner fuels can still operate in the city. Public transport like Delhi Metro and buses continues to run. In fact, they have added extra trips to help reduce congestion. You can still travel in emergency vehicles, of course. For those of you working from home, the government is encouraging officers to run at 50% capacity with the rest working remotely. Now let's talk about what's not allowed under stage 4 restrictions. Heavy trucks, diesel powered trucks that aren't carrying essential goods are banned. Light commercial vehicles, if you are not carrying essentials, these vehicles also restricted unless they run on clean fuels. Construction activities, all non-essential construction works like roads and flyovers is halted to limit dust and pollution. But that's not all, state may even impose additional restrictions like closing colleges or launching a vehicle or even schemes to cut down emissions. More updates are expected in the coming days. So what does all of this mean for your health? The AQI has hit a severe plus level of 484 and that is extremely hazardous for everyone, especially if you have a respiratory condition or heart issues. Breathing this polluted air can cause symptoms like coughing, eye irritation, shortness of breath. Long term exposure can make things even worse, leading to chronic conditions like asthma or heart disease. So it's time to take actions. Limit outdoor exposure, wear N95 masks and keep your windows closed. And the pollution is making an impact on more than just your health. Visibility across the city has dropped to just 300 meters, which is creating serious disruptions. Over 160 flights and 30 trains have been delayed due to poor visibility. Talk about a morning commute nightmare, right? Experts predict the pollution level will stay in the severe or severe plus category for the next six days. So get ready for more of this toxic haze. Now let's get to what you can do. The best way to protect yourself is to avoid going outside unnecessarily. If you have to step out, wear an N95 mask. Use public transport instead of driving and do not forget to keep track of air quality updates. Stay indoors, especially if you are vulnerable to respiratory issues. The government is trying its best to reduce pollution levels, but we all need to play our part in helping clean the air. So that's the latest on Grab Stage 4 in Delhi and how it's impacting your health and daily life. Stay tuned as we keep you updated on this ongoing situation. Until then, stay indoor, stay safe and take care of your health.